Hi everyone. In today's class, we will discuss about uniform motion. Previous classes, you discussed about physical quantities like distance traveled and displacement. Now, continuing the discussion on the topic of motion, today we will discuss about uniform motion. So, what is uniform motion? So, uniform motion. What is uniform motion? See, consider an object which is moving in a straight line. So, if it is covering say 5 meters in its first second of movement and again it is covering 5 minutes in the second second of movement and similarly the next second that is the third second if it covers again 5 meters and so on then we find that it is covering equal distances in that same interval of time. We are taking one second here. Every time we are taking one second. For another example, we may consider it as maybe two seconds or two hours. So we consider like every two hours or every two seconds or every three minutes, something like that. So fixed intervals of time we will take and then we compare the movement of the body. If the body covers equal distances during this, these uh, intervals of time, we can say that it is uniform motion. So we can define it as follows. As the object covers equal distances, in equal intervals of time, we say that the body is undergoing uniform motion. And we have to keep in mind that the time interval taken during these times is very small. You may ask, what will happen if we take for a larger interval? Then we will be talking about average movement, not the particular uh, uniform motion at that given instance. Now, non-uniform movement. Once we have talk, uh, talked about uniform motion, then we will have to discuss about non-uniform motion also. Quite the opposite of uniform motion. See, in day-to-day -day life, when we come across motions, they are not strictly by equal distances in equal intervals of time. Like some objects, they cover unequal distances in the same equal intervals of time. Example, um, vehicle moving in a crowded area, like a car, or uh, a person jogging in a park or moving around in a crowded place. See, you will have to increase your uh, gait or walking speed and sometimes you will have to slow down a little bit. So, you will not be covering same distances in given intervals of time. For example, a person is moving uh, in a street, a crowded one. So, what happens is first few seconds, maybe he covers very less distance. After some time, he finds an empty spot where he starts moving to a larger distance in the same given time. Such movements are called as non-uniform motion. Okay, so let us now consider an example to understand better about uniform motion and non-uniform motion. Everybody please examine this given table 8.1 carefully so that I can compare between two different objects. First of all, the first column is about the time taken by both the objects. Let me call first object as A and second object as B. So, second column consists of the time or sorry distance traveled by object A in meters and third column consists of distance traveled by object B in meters. During the first uh, uh, instance that is at 9.30 am, first object has covered 10 meters, the second object has covered 12 meters. We cannot say anything up to now because we need more data to have a good reference. Let us talk about next 9.45 in the second row. You will see at 9.45 am we have already spent 15 minutes here. So in these 15 minutes see the distance traveled by A is 20 meters. So earlier it was in 10, now it is at 20. So the difference will be 10. And next what about the second object? That is, uh, it was at 12 meters, now it is at 19 meters. The distance traveled is 7 meters. And so on, if you compare, we will find that the difference between the two consecutive measurements is always same in column 2. Whereas in column 3, the consecutive measurements, they are not equally spaced. To understand this same data better, we will go for a diagram. In this given example here, the same table, I have just put it in picture form. Let us consider the first object as a snail called A, the second object as a snail called B. 
during the first uh, 15 minutes the first snail covers 10 meters and the second snail covers 12 meters they both have taken the same time but the distances are different during the next 15 minutes that is the first snail moves about 20 meters in total means the difference is from 10 to 20 the difference is 10 meters so in the next 15 minutes again it has covered 10 meters whereas if you talk about the second snail it has moved only by 7 meters it was at 12 meters it has come up to 19 meters so the difference is 7 meters now again next 15 minutes if you look at the snail a it has traveled again from 20 to 30 meters means 10 meters difference whereas if you come back to the second snail it moves from 19 to 23 in next 15 minutes giving you only 4 meters distance covered let us talk about again a it covers again 10 meters in the next 15 minutes let us talk about b it covers 12 meters in the next 15 minutes as it continues please observe till they reach that mark of 80 and 44 respectively we will find that the motion in the case a has always been equal distance in equal time so we can call it as uniform motion whereas the second one the second snail is going on changing its uh, distance traveled in equal intervals because the intervals is the same 15 minutes but the distances are all different it's very clearly observable in this diagram so if you look at all the readings now for the first one it's 10 10 10 10 10 10 and 10 means equal distances throughout the equal intervals of time however in b case it is 12 7 4 12 2, 4 and 3. All the distances are unequal in the same equal intervals of time. This is an example for uniform and non-uniform motion.